So if you were to give me five courses left to play, then uh, certainly this would, uh, this would be on the list. And quite possibly, it would be on the top of that list. I think every single person I've spoke to is, that has played this course either says it's the best course they've ever played, uh, or certainly right up there, and the other um, compliment they give it is the changes that have been made in terms of the design in recent years is, uh, is incredible. First team. Words of wisdom. First hole in particular, which way are we going? I've never played here before. Okay, so first hole, there, uh, Donald Trump's made some changes with Martin Ebert here, so they've lengthened the hole by about 50 yards to make it more of a dog leg. Yeah. And they've moved the tee back as well to accentuate that. The championship tee is over to our right, is it? Yep, exactly. So it's well bunkered off the tee as most holes here yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. And you're looking to aim at this middle bunker down the middle, which is about 270 to reach. So that's if you cool. Just nice well, out of my range, just don't worry about that. Easy driver there. Down there. Save it short. Perfect. Okay. Right, we'll do our best. We might have found the fairway off the first tee, but as soon as you come over and see your first glimpse of the green, uh, it's a pretty jaw-dropping moment, to be honest with you. The condition, and I'm 40 yards away from them bunkers, but the condition of that revetted bunker looks amazing. The green complex looks amazing. We've got the sea that already comes into view, and the first glimpse of Elsa Craig. Yeah, so even three off the tee, we're still smiling. no breeze whatsoever the sea is just the other side of the dunes and that's the thing on five first time there's a change in in our how the whole looks how the course is set up this par five is literally framed by dunes uh, left and right quite high bit of protection i think the best of drives but we're uh, we're above ground i'm gonna try and uh, an iron down for position because there looks a fair few bunkers there and hopefully we can get something with a wedge in It looks good, but it's right online for a bunker. I don't know what did. That's okay, I think. I think we're all right. Uh, that uh, bunker I said I'd avoided. Well, I clearly didn't. Um, we've got 98 in. We're sitting on a tee peg here. Uh, so we've got enough. We're far enough back, really, if I can hit a shot. But there's a few others waiting as well. Go, ball. Get up. Get up. Don't spin. Didn't quite listen. Bit of spin. Right, we're just about to walk to the sixth tee. And uh, that's how close we are to the sea. First real glimpse um, of the lighthouse in the distance over there. Soul, probably the two best shots I've strung together and then you'll you, you come over the brown and see what you face with and it's still it 
I always say um, good course design asks for a lot of different questions on each shot that you play, but it, it really is the case here. I'm hoping setting back the camera there, you can see the severity of the slope I just walked up, and you can also see the one I face back down to this hole. And uh, honestly, it is like it's, I'm laughing, but I'm really, it's asking questions of my game. And these are quick. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Ah, do you know what? That's a decent par on what is a great golf hole. And uh, like I said, just as you're questioning yourself all the way up it, fantastic golf hole. Not many holes in golf are more iconic than the ninth. Uh, I've been itching to get here. We're playing off the blues, 199 to the flag. And there's tees further back, trust me. Uh, but this is where we're going to go from. Keep our fingers crossed. It's one way you want to hit a good one. Oh, it's, an, it's not a bad one. <laughs> it's in them bunkers on the left, I think. Yeah, straight into the bunkers. Uh, a decent enough strike. I keep saying this thing about the wind, but I imagine there's a tee box back there which cuts right across the water. And uh, if you're playing that Open Championship, wind howling into you, I think you'd be, uh, yeah, you'd be a little nervous. Three iron might have been a bit too much, actually. Maybe this uh, bunker's actually done me a favour, uh, to be honest with you. A long way from the flag. Go ball. That could be good and release out a bit further. It seems half decent from back here. We might still get that par after all. We've got a chance anyway. I haven't played Turnberry before, so I can't make comparisons in terms of the golf course changes. But what I can say is that golf at Turnberry is spectacular. Right, well, we haven't played the championship tees, but it's still a great golf hole. Uh, I've still got a 160 in. You can't afford to go left. <laughs> he says. He's gone left. Go, ball. Go. Go. Oh, and I haven't either. I've literally done exactly what I said don't do. It's in the bank and the hairy stuff on the left of the green. I said don't go left. I'm not bad lying, but... Go on. Sit down. Oh, I'll take that. But to be honest with you, what wouldn't you take? I mean, look that way. I always say the same thing. It's kind of like some days the golf isn't great. And then you can uh, you play courses like this and you take a bit of glance around you. And uh, really, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't be too bothered. But we do want to play well, but... It's incredible, you know. What I didn't realise again was back there was... Uh, I said don't go left. You don't want to go long either because... Uh, yeah, it's a watery grave back there. This last stretch of holes has been incredible. Um, again, I, I want to keep saying the same thing about how still and calm it is. I'm playing 150 from this tee position. Just so much admiration for the pros who play from the back tees and with a bit of breeze. Stay there, ball. Stay there, that's just right, a flag, sit. Yeah, again, really happy with that. But um, the, like I said, nine, I, think, I don't even know where we're at, but certainly eight, nine, 10, this is 11. Great little par three. Uh, blown away by these last few holes. Really, really top class. I'm not sure how much talking I've been doing on this back nine because I've been, uh, well, trying to find my way around the golf course, to be honest with you. It takes a bit of concentration. Uh, and I've just hit, I've played off the blue tees here. 
195 i played a three iron in fact i'll do the pitch mark in a minute but that's where it's pitched in and what i couldn't see from back on the tee was uh a sneaky little bunker that i've got a feeling we might find a ball in yep look at that so again great design great par three there's lots of bunkers do you know what i haven't been in too many so i can't complain too much but a uh, three iron off the tee think you've done your sunday best and you end up in this that's not a bad out though that's not a bad out happy with that i had the pleasure of staying in the hotel which is an amazing experience it really is a luxurious stay with a warm Scottish welcome. And that view, well, that'll live long in the memory. Well, I made it through to the 18th tee and uh, oh, I lost a few balls along the way, found a few bunkers. And uh, for me, that's probably, I, I think if you play any open championship venue, you're literally pitting yourself, your game against the very best golf courses in the world. And this is right up there as one of them. It is tough, it asks a lot of questions of your games and I think it will give you a good hiding at times as well. Um, and like I keep on repeating, with no wind, it was still plenty hard enough, but obviously immaculate condition as you'd expect. Um, teeing off down uh, towards the lighthouse all around there was uh, was very, very special. And I think that, you know, these kind of courses, you can't play them every day, but for special occasions, it's an absolutely fantastic. The whole experience is amazing. Um, hotel on the top there, not a bad gaff either. Anyway, let's see how we get on down 18. I think if you find grass here, you've done well. Come on, driver's been okay today. Oh, how good is that? Come on, stay above ground. Oh, what a great way to tee off. Let's see if we can follow that up. That's a nice feeling. Try to force it. Try to force it, gone left. It's a fairly big green, but I don't think it'll grab that. <laughs> 